So like before, when I've shared that sometimes people don't think a topic is relative to them. And it may sometimes also feel like not in this lifetime either. Maybe in this lifetime you're not experiencing some kind of shadow self sex addiction, but it can come out in different ways. And the reason why it's always good to, to get clearings on any topic available is because it's still in your energy field. Somewhere in your life stream, you've had experiences. I'm serious. It's like, you know, I can track back in people's life stream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Marquis de Sade. Okay. You know, remember that kind of stuff? Okay. But not only... Yeah, so, a lot, so it's like any time we've had many, multiple, multiple, multiple lifetimes, even just imagine a hundred lifetimes, which so for some people that sounds like a massive amount of lifetimes, and yet everybody here is at least, hang on, let me just see what the lowest is. Someone's got, who's got four some? 470 something. So with that many lifetimes, you know, you're still going to be dabbling and learning and, and exploring all of who you are. And part of it is your sexuality. And with the, um, the belief systems that get ingrained that there's something wrong with, with sexuality, then everything starts to go underground. And that's where the distortions start to happen, when we start judging it and thinking there's something wrong. So the, the shadow self, when I look at the shadow self for people that do have for real sex addiction, and I have worked with a lot of people that really do. And I'm not seeing anybody in here that has that to that degree. You know what I'm saying? There's no one here that has the distortion that what I want to do clearing on. And yet, when I track back, I can see in the energy field of everyone that there is like peaks of, of really having that kind of experience in your, in your evolution. And what it can do, like in this lifetime, it can also... Okay, here's good, good, good. Okay. So... It, what it can do is when you come into this lifetime, sometimes you'll pick families, like people that, that go into re religious kind of stuff. And when I say that, I'm referring to things like Catholicism. That's one of the big, big, well that, and as well as some of the other Middle Eastern cultures, the, the Muslims and things like that, where everything, you know, you're covered up. And, but you'll notice that the distortions and the extreme, extremes, even they kill people around this, because it's all suppressed energy and beliefs around shame and there's something wrong. So the more you suppress something, the darker it gets. And the thing with people that have like the addiction, like any addiction, okay? People don't want to tell people, oh, I have a sugar addiction or I have, you know, cigarette addiction or, or whatever the addiction is. People aren't going to go going around saying, Oh yeah, man, I have this problem and I, you know, I have to have like a, you know, pound of sugar a day or have to have sex like 10 times a day or I don't feel good or, you know what I mean? It's like you're not sharing it. So things that get hidden gets more and more distortions and then there's a lot of shame. And as I'm looking back, so what I'm doing mostly is I'm kind of tracking, oh, what I was going to say is when you have... Um, that kind of energy in your, in your, in your, in your um, in, like where you've learned that it's, things are not okay, then sometimes you will incarnate into families that are going to have a strong belief system that brings up shame and it brings up or it, it creates more of a shadow kind of energy and then it creates distortion. But it may not come out where you're experiencing the sex addiction. It may be, come out where you're feeling more things around feeling shame around sex or feeling judgments around sex or you can feel uh, where where there's that that place where some people just want to be like the pure purity you know what I mean like you're pure if you're not being sexual do you know what I mean so there's there's just it's all distortion and there's there's a lot of shame and judgments and and um, just where people get off center. And then also, uh -huh. so what it also does, it inhibits one's ability to truly, truly, truly receive pleasure. Like, you know, a lot of Tantra stuff. True Tantra is about, 
it's a higher, higher frequency of, of physical body connection. There's a lot of distortion in a lot of the Tantra practices and a lot of the programs that are happening simply because of the shame and places where people have a judgment or, you know, secrecy, things like that. So people get, you know, they want to hide and they get afraid to be, to be seen or, you know, even people, okay, for example, I think those of you that were here, just a reminder, remember we were doing the fetish thing, okay? So when people have that, that kind of thing happening, it gets very, very hidden and, and, and then in the hiding of that, then more and more distortions happen. So when we have the sexual addiction, it's like any addiction, and yet sometimes that can be even more humiliating or more shameful, and so therefore it becomes even more hidden. And what I'm looking at right now is I'm tracking everybody here, but it'll also apply to anybody that's listening to this later online. It's like when I go back and I start looking at the past life areas of past life issues, I'm actually seeing some really like liberated, free kind of sexual activity. And then too, it's like over time that becomes like that's not okay. And you all know about like the Romans, that type of thing. You know, it was like big orgies and, and lots of things. So they weren't, there was not that inhibition. They were like, there was more of a, a liberated feeling. And yet, when it became more Puritan, you know what I mean, where things became more closed down and dark, the darkness, when we started going into the dark ages, that kind of stuff, that's when things really got distorted. And that's where the dark, black, black energy that I'm seeing, where the sex sexual addictions are coming forth, but it gets extremely black. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm looking at everyone's live stream, some go way, way, way further back. Some of them were actually in that period of the dark, you know, the, the dark ages kind of stuff. Aha, uh -huh. okay, hang on a second. Who is that? Somebody, hang on, give me a second. But somebody was a real Puritan and really, um, he, you know what I mean? It's like I'm seeing someone with a, um, like, a like a priest kind of person you know, righteousness, that kind of thing, and just shaming people and exposing people and, and making people, you know, like make them like throw things at you or, sh you know what I mean, like really causing harm, and yet that person also had <laughs> all these distortions. <laughs> so that's another thing too, it's like, okay, finding fault with things that we already are doing ourselves, but we bring it out there, point the blame on somebody else. And in this lifetime, what it can also do, see if that energy is in the life past in the life stream further back in the life stream, and yet it's still in the soul imprint and we carry that forth, what it can also do, and I know that's what I was gonna say. So you enter into families where it's not um, like a natural thing, it's not free flowing, where there's judgments, where there's you know, you're only supposed to have sex for procreation or, you know, all these, you know, limitations around that. And what happens is, is when there's been a big opening or a big distortion kind of thing, then you come in and you want it all closed down, closed down, closed down. So things kind of get pulled in and hidden. And then you, like I said, you enter into families where that become like you go, you know, like sometimes people go into the Middle East where it's like total shame. You know what I mean? It's like, did you guys know that some of these countries, when they have sex, that there's like a hole in the sheet? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're not supposed to see the body, okay? And what do you think's gonna happen? You know? And then they blame the female, the feminine, because, you know, don't show your hair, don't show your hands, don't show anything because you're enticing, you know? So then it becomes, it's always the blame game about you're the one who's causing me to feel this way. So with the uh, shadow self, <laughs> with the shadow self, there's always a shadow, but what's also cool is there's also lots of entity. Oh yes, okay, that's good too. So you know this already, but I'm gonna say it because not everybody knows it. When you leave this incarnational body, when you leave this physical body, and the light does come, you know, we have all these beliefs around, okay, you know, the judgment, the pearly gates, all that good stuff. Well, you know, on some level we kind of create that. But there is that moment where the light does come. And if you have 
things happening in your, in your body where you believe you've done some really bad things or you, you got all this shame, then what's going to happen is you're not going to want to go into the light because you're afraid you're going to be judged. You're afraid, you know, you're going to be punished. Okay, seriously. So there's a lot of that, that energy that doesn't get received, or, you know, I mean, people, your soul doesn't go into the light. So all these people are like hiding and running from the light, and then they're finding people's bodies they can go into. A lot of the energy that people, uh, frequency that, that matches the energy is there's a lot of shame. It doesn't mean there's shame when it's happening, when they're doing things, but it's the after. Then there's shame afterwards. And then the self-punishment and, and hating of oneself. So a lot of distortion starts to happen, especially around the sexual energy. I mean, if you look at something like cigarette addiction, yeah, people may not want people to know how much they, whatever. But it's nothing like the sexual stuff. That gets like black. The energy gets black. Okay? So as I'm talking right now, what I'm doing is I'm literally pulling up from your subconscious darkness. You might be feeling it already. <laughs> it's a little uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay. And we want that. We want, we want this energy to come out because what it does, in, in your loving relationships, in your connections with your beloved or, you know, your, your, your partner, if this energy stays buried inside, then you're going to have things happen where you feel uncomfortable. You know, like I, I have someone that I'm going to be working with that, you know, it's just like they were having an intimate relation, experience with their partner and all of a sudden they just felt they couldn't look them in the eyes. Because what was happening is when the heart is opening, all the stuff that's not of love starts to rise up. And the key, though, is let it keep rising, keep the heart open, keep yourself just letting energy move, but sometimes it can be overwhelming. So when I'm looking at this black, this is like blackest of black. This is almost as black as things where people do atrocities, okay? So <clears throat> right now, as, I, as I'm just kind of like opening channels and opening up energy fields <clears throat> in your body, I'm pulling up. Already, I'm, I'm actually pulling up from your soul imprint past life stuff where distortions happened. And the places where you started pushing things down, trying to, you know, trying to block those memories or block that energy out, but we're just kind of opening up that so that this black stuff can start to come forth. So this is what I'm saying, even though you may not have the addiction in this lifetime, you have the energy of that, the shame of that, the trauma of that, the belief systems around that, that make it all black, okay? So we just want to start clearing this stuff out of your body. And like I was saying, the people that don't go into the light, they're going to attract and attach to your frequency in your soul imprint where you do have that distortion and that shame. So you're going to have more people, more people in the hidden aspects, in the hidden um, realms where... Um, you know, where you're hiding it, where you don't want to have people know. So, also, there's, it's like with the new, with the, the shifting of, of everything in the new paradigm, it's almost like we've been going along an old paradigm and we've had to go through and release and uh, re-experience over and over all our traumas, all our pain, all our suffering, okay? Now what's happening is it's like almost like going more direct. What I mean by that is even just from this moment forward and all the new people coming onto the planet, people being born now, they're not having to go through the same channels that we've gone through because now with all the shifting and changing and the veils changing, it's more of a direct line. And, but that good news is for everybody else too is you're going more direct as well. And when you have this old stuff, this old garbage, this old black energy inside, it's, it's a bit of an anchor so that you can't keep going direct. You know, you're going to kind of, it's almost like hitting road bumps. You know what I mean? It's like you, you know, you're moving forward and you can feel the acceleration and then all of a sudden you'll feel like the hold it something, you know, more static, 
more energy, more interferences are happening, okay? And what's happening is, if you could see the energy, and some of you, as I speak it, you'll see it, and it's like you're, try, you're soaring, you're trying to soar. So I can see you soaring, or, or that movement, and then I see all these little threads, and some of them look almost like, like, um, like a veil -y kind of energy that as you're trying to soar, you can't because all this stuff is holding you down, holding you back. But it's coming from these deeper, deeper, deeper places where the blackness is, okay? So this is a really, really powerful topic for, for liberating on many, many, many levels, okay? This isn't just going to affect sexuality. It's also the hiding of who you are, you know? letting your light really, really shine. So there's a mega, mega interference occurring with this old, old, ancient, dark black energy that's just like a, almost like tar. But there's something else that's presenting. Let me just see what that is. Okay, so as I'm looking at it, okay, there's something. What is that? Okay, so I'm, tra I'm just kind of like looking at your, your past incarnations. I'm tracking those dark times where the blackness, the or the seediness, the, the distorted, the, you know, the really, 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 what we would call um, d distortions. Um, there's something that has like a thick, tarry, kind of sticky, tarry sensation. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, okay, get it, all right. So what happens is, you know how in the different realms, different energy fields, well, in the under realms, there's more darkness. There's more things of hidden. So there's a lot of stuff that's actually coming up through these darker realms into the body that was happening when you were opening these energy fields up in your past incarnational experiences. I'm thinking, am I making sense? It's kind of like whatever you were doing, it's not thing, it wasn't of the heart, okay? So it's not of the light. It's seedy, it's dark, it's like, dirty, nasty, you know, and, and so what happens is, remember whenever, whatever we're, we're opening to, whatever we're calling forth, that's the energy we call to us. So what was happening in these really dark, dark black experiences of really, the really gnarly stuff, you were literally opening up portals into these under realms and also portals into the earth itself where there is blackness. Have I talked about that before, the energy of the earth itself, where there's portals, where the, there's actual blackness? Okay, so just really briefly. All right, so let's just take another country where, where there's openness and a lot of light, a lot of education, a lot of consciousness, as well as medical. The medical fields are much more expanded, places like Switzerland, even Germany, okay? A lot of light there, all right? Now, let's pick another country where things are suppressed where there's hatred, blame, okay? Those energy, pl those places, there's actually portals that have been opened up where all this black energy comes right through the earth. And, it, and that blackness literally goes into people's bodies. M remember too, like when we hate, when we're throwing hate, then we are literally bringing and calling forth a blackness that's buried in the earth. So there's all these, por there's all these like wormholes in the earth. So there's all these black channels of darkness in the earth. There's also channels of light. And when we are calling upon anything that is dark, when, we're, when we have you know, the darker energies, negative energies, or hidden, hidden things of hidden, hiding, that's dark, okay? Shrouding. So in that, what's happened is you've literally opened up the channels or the opening, the uh, vortexes of, of holes, wormholes, things of that nature, into the darker realms, and then this, all this blackness comes up. And so what happens too is that blackness literally comes into the body, and then here you are in this lifetime, like most everyone here, people that are gonna be drawn to what we do, these are people seeking light, okay? They're seeking the liberation. They're not in hiding. You're not gonna come here if you wanna stay in hiding. <laughs> yeah. So what's happening is here you are, you're trying to soar, and yet you got all this stuff attached, attached, attached at a different level than, you know, different levels of working that we do, different t kinds of healing that we do, but this is another facet of it. So it, getting this energy out of your energy field is going to be like really, really awesome, like seriously awesome.
Yeah, this is good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's because <laughs> it's. I'm not. It's like it's like I can see. Like you're. Tr it's like. It's like just being held, held back. Mm -hmm. But it's going to affect every facet of your life. Mm -hmm. Simple things, you know, just having that sense of just being your authentic self, that divine light that you all are, that we all are. There's the inhibitions, there's the holding back. So you can feel that. 